What's up, guys? Before we begin, I'll be live on Twitch tonight with drops enabled for the new Season 3 Twitch content. So if you want to stop by and chat while earning some new in-game loot, you can. We'd love to see you guys out there, and the link's in the description below as always. But for now, back to the regular scheduled content. With every title update in Modern Warfare and now Warzone, there's bound to be things that lead to what's upcoming, what's yet to be released. Sometimes that's big, sometimes it's small. But the breadcrumb trail of things is always there of stuff that couldn't quite be fully removed, and that existence of future releases always persists in those games files and so every so often we get data mined information that points to worthwhile additions coming update 1.20 was one of those updates where it wasn't anything groundbreaking or anything that revealed a huge content drop like maybe the next season's operator or maps but we did get some information on coming modes and the additions for warzone as well as some information on the prospect of upcoming weapons that we may be seeing very soon so today i want to break down all this here for you and everything in between so you know what's going on in the world of call of duty that said as we go along let me know your thoughts down below if you're gonna add one weapon into modern warfare and warzone what would it be and why as well if you are new to the channel do be sure to hit the subscribe button if you have not done so already to stay up to date with all things modern warfare and warzone on a daily basis we'll keep you informed on any and everything you need to know that said let's get into it firstly let's talk about the upcoming content that we can expect in warzone and elsewhere within modern warfare now, this information comes from multiple sources the primary of these being twitter user modern warzone if i'm not mistaken who actually data mined the following information as well but it was also later reported by dexerto and other information outlets which gave it a little bit more of a push to the broader audiences the twitter user ended up data mining a bit of information in regards to modes and weapons that we'll talk about today but of that we saw information firstly i want to talk about for the warzone playlist that could be coming up in the very near future of these they include classic br which includes no cash contracts gulags loadouts or respawns it's just straight up drop in loot up with ground weapons and fight to the death try to be the last one standing mo gulag mo problems in which dead players go to the gulag until the final three circles with no buybacks being available so definitely gonna be seeing a lot more redeploys there with that but byol is bring your own loadout which you start with your own loadout similar to plunder that'll be an interesting one that i'm not entirely sure if i'll fully enjoy that but we then see non-stop in which gas is always closing in on the players and on that final circle pew pew in which you see yourself using high damage pistols and explosive physics that was not explained what explosive physics are i would imagine it might be like explosive rounds on weapons then we see run like hell in which the zone moves at a pace that you cannot outrun as a player so the vehicles will definitely be needed for that one bottom line where a player when they die they'll drop back into the fight if they have enough cash on them kind of like a threshold that you'll have to meet to immediately buy yourself back but the gulag is disabled Realism will be making its way over into Warzone with minimal HUD and of course similar to the Realism game modes, presumably where headshots are lethal and everything else still has basically the same health properties but with minimal HUD as well. Infinite Gulag where there's no description here for this one but there's possibly no buybacks and Gulag will maybe continue until all players are eliminated, finally whittling down to those last couple of players. Most Wanted, there's no description for this one either but my guess may be that it's possibly only Most Wanted contracts or maybe higher rewards per most wanted contract completions one shot there is nothing here that again states the details for this one but health maybe is one shot or perhaps it's indicating a snipers only playlist and only snipers we saw that there was of course scopes and scatter but that was snipers and shotguns stimulus is one that again does not have any description here for this but i would imagine that's perhaps indicating more money drops out of crates or wherever you may find it and then finally inflation redeployment which there's absolutely nothing here for this which by the name there doesn't seem to be any hints that we can even pull from this but that's the playlist that were data mined as of update 1.20 for the upcoming Warzone content. Now, here's the thing though. Duos is mentioned numerous times within the game files as well, and with multiple different variations of those LTMs pointing to duos at some point. So hopefully that's an indication that they do come soon and that duos is added in relatively shortly. But for the time being, we only know that it was listed on the season three page for Modern Warfare at the very beginning of, at the very launch of the season. And we haven't really seen it outside of the game files anywhere else. There's been no official confirmation of it from Infinity War from Call of Duty, from Activision, but these playlists do have some variations with duos enabled. 
So that's something that we certainly have no shortage of LTMs coming here. And I wouldn't expect all of these over the course of season three and what we have on offer still, but some of these will likely roll over into season four. That's a lot of cool stuff, I think, here that we could be seeing. Now, in terms of playlists, there also is some data mined information for what will be some hard hat 24 seven playlists. But of course, with hard hat not being out in the game just yet, I'd imagine that's something that comes with the next title update or at some point in the next couple of weeks. But for that, we saw that there will be the playlist of protect your head a little diy difficult fedora and difficult head covering but again we don't really have too much to really discuss outside of that because we knew some sort of 24 7 playlist would be happening with that new map but we just don't have anything that lets us know when it would be as for the other stuff that was data mined, we saw a couple of melee weapon variants data mined as well from update 1.20, in which we saw in the game files listed the hatchet, the swore, the Callistic, and the cinder block. But the hatchet we'd already seen, we saw a hatchet come in the Ronin bundle a couple of weeks back whenever he was introduced into the shop for all players. So the hatchet's one that's already been out there and is something that we've seen come to fruition. The swore, I would imagine, is possibly a sword given that it's spelled S-W-O-R, just missing that one letter, and of course, that's the full-on word there, and it could be a nice little variation of the melee. We saw, of course, that the hatchet was our first diversion from just a simple combat knife, so with Ronin and the seemingly previous use of the parallels to the samurai genre, wouldn't be the craziest thing to see a sword pop up as well. Callistic, who knows what that one may be. That one is completely eluding me, but the final melee weapon that was in the game files is the cinder block, which if you played the campaign, That'd be a really cool melee weapon, I think, here, because it's already in the game files. It's something you can use as a melee weapon, and who wouldn't want to just bash somebody over the head with a cinder block? So the sword and the cinder block, I'm not entirely sure when those would be introduced, but they are introduced in the game files already, but we haven't seen them allocated to any sort of bundle that's already in the game files. We talked about in yesterday's video briefly that about 30 new bundles were added into the game files that we can actually see visible in the database for the shop, but the cinder block or the sword, they're not in there at any capacity. So those may be just coming at a later point in time, but interesting additions, no less. Outside of that, though, we did get some more data mined information for Warzone in relation to the all-elusive Bunker Easter egg. Now, this is something that still doesn't really give us any steps to point A to B to C and understanding how it's going to work out, how it will play out, but we did see that in the game files, more access cards than what we knew of were already actually thrown in there. We saw that I think it was the red access card, if I'm not mistaken, was discovered by a couple of players, but there was no apparent use here for this. But those aren't the only ones. In the game files, there's actually three of them. There's green, red, and blue available. And in their files, they state that their use is unknown, but if you take a look at some of the bunkers and some of the categorizations of the different zones of the map on the even TAC map guide, the official thing on the Call of Duty website, there are the denominations of green, red, and blue in some regards. There's yellow, I believe, also in there, which throws us for a little bit more of a loop, but definitely interesting that we saw more of these added in. But what's also interesting is that with update 1.20, there actually is now animations for the bunkers themselves opening up. We don't know, again, how to get here or what this may be. The current theories are that this may be for a live event, maybe a nuke goes off or something, but there also is something that the loot is listed as a tier 6, when the highest of a legendary everywhere else is tier 5. Even again, on the official TAC map, it's listed that these bunkers are tier 6 if you can get past the classified digital distortion on the website. So players also have the theory this could be a high tier loot area, but we'll see how that one plays out. One thing, though, that I do want to kind of dispel, though, is that right now, out of this data mined information, there is being a video passed along where you see all these red dots pop up on Verdansk, and then it pans out and we see Urzikstan, the nation that we've seen played out in the campaign, and where also a lot of the other stuff in traditional MP plays out as well. That's where Azir Cave is and some other locations, but the theory that is now being thrown around is that that's going to be the season four air quote new map. I don't buy into that, and I don't think you should either at all. The video that was data mined was actually an end sequence from Spec Ops, so this was already in the game files, it was already there. And realistically, if anything, I think it was more of a hint towards BR back in the day, as opposed to this now being a hint towards a BR second map. That's not something that I buy into. So just be aware of that. I don't think that's going to be a thing. But anyways, that's kind of where we're at here at this. There is, of course, a lot to digest here in terms of the playlists and all that could be coming. But I'm excited to see what else we may see here out of these game files. But for the time being, there's definitely a lot to discuss. So love to get your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section and down below. What do you guys think of this? 
playlist here? Do you like the playlist that we may be seeing here in the very near future? Are you looking forward to any of the new melee weapons? Do you think that maybe that outro is something that points to a new map within Modern Warfare? Again, I don't personally think so, but love to get your thoughts and feedback on all of it. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding all things Modern Warfare updates, news, information, tips, tricks, all that good stuff. We get you covered here on the channel. So if any of that interests you, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing. If you guys also want to follow me over on Twitter or Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube. Practice live on both those. So if you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, that link is down there in the description below. But that's out of the way. Thank you guys all so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.